from the deep dark reaches of Star Trek Online comes Nicodus and Greebug with another episode of Fleet Action Report. Hello and welcome to Fleet Action Report. Uh, and I totally messed up my greeting. Let me let me retry this. Hello, welcome to the 111th episode of Fleet Action Report, the show where we don't just play the game, but we teach you how to play the game. I'm Nicodus. I'm Phil. Rebug. And I still messed it up. I, I'm going to have to re rework this whole title thing the way I'm doing it. I may just go back to the old one. Um, today's episode is episode 111, Kobayashi Arena, and that's you know, play on words because we've got the Kobayashi Maru and Sompex Arena. I thought I was being funny. Would have been better if I hadn't messed up the whole greeting thing, but there we go. Um, we do not at the moment have any guests with us. However, as we are running TFOs, uh, any viewers that wish to join us are more than uh, welcome. We have three spaces available. This will be on a first come first serve basis. So speak up in chat if you want to join us or just pop on Discord uh we'll either i think you should have access to the channel we're in but if not we'll drag you down here and we'll get things going um thank you heathenly for the subscription talking about you that. would know her as bailey ah Faley. <laughs> fair enough um let's see what have you been up to in this uh past week Grebog? let's see uh do doing well, okay, so I've been raiding on now two Death Knights because one Death Knight raiding is not not enough apparently for me. Um, I tank on one, I DPS on the other. Um, so yeah, this is World of Warcraft if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, my guild, my main guild that I'm part of, has kind of partnered with a, a an alliance guild a, with the whole cross faction raiding. They uh. They've kind of created this uh, community channel between the two guilds. Um, anyone that wants to run around with both either side joins the channel, and we can all run around. Um, they had a raid team. We have a raid team. Um, our raid team runs, you know, two different nights than theirs, and so they have a lot of their people join us when we're raiding, and then the, they on their raid team we have some of our people. Well, some of our people go and join them. It's a way so we can, some of us can play alts that we, we, we want to play and help out the other team. It's been kind of fun. What's your uh, spec on your Death Knight? Um, well, blood for the tank. Um, and then unholy is what I, I roll for, for DPS. Um, I'm not so great on the single target, but on, as they saw... Whenever they give me multiple targets, lots and lots of targets, my, my DPS ramps up. I, I was exceeding like 60. I, I, I think I hit 60K, but then it started sliding down as everything started uh, dropping. Um, for those that don't know, 60K DPS is an insane number <laughs> right now. But uh, let's see. Uh, so I, I've been having fun doing that. Um I've been debating actually switching my Death Knight, which one's my main, for the next expansion. So I've been just given a, a try on whether or not I like the, the Dark Iron Dwarf more than the High Mountain Torn as my main. Um, which is why I've been writing as, as the Dark Iron Dwarf. Um, it's been fun. There's some interesting racial things that you can take advantage of, which is nice. Uh, they have the what fire blood which means you essentially burn out all of the poisons diseases curses uh magic you you can just boil it right out of your system and it gives you a buff so nice but uh let's see outside of that um i, I i've been playing some games to chill in the background some solar solo play stuff uh, nothing super fancy. Uh, also been doing my, my working on my recruits in their daily, uh, Admiralty duty officer stuff, trying to get them pushed forward here in STO. Um, I, I do have still a wish list of stuff I need to gather 
for some builds I'm working on on this captain for some of the side ships, but also been doing the, you know, either Kobayashi Maru or or the uh, Sampak. I, I, both of them have been quite. I, I enjoy both of them, but uh, I personally kind of prefer the, the ground one. But it it they're both fun. Um. Oh, and then Sunday. Yeah, I, I, so D&D group, they, they decided to go find a, a wand of Orcus that someone might have and may may or may not have been attuned themselves to. And so now a, a person that was with good intentions may have gone a little bit dark. And I, I fear that this good intention person is going to probably... Either they're going to kill him because, you know, good people deserve to die when, when, when they, they get cursed. Or... As as I'm pulling at Nick's heart heartstrings here, um, <laughs> manipulating him a little with my DMness, um, or, or he 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 is a mage. He does probably know how to teleport. I'll, I'll leave. Yeah, it but that. that that won't solve the issue. <laughs> I mean, it will for him. I suppose, but then we're just gonna have to go track him down again. <laughs> Oh, but then he might make more friends. Come Maybe on. someone that's trying to get Vecna on their side. It's It'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> Honestly, I had a thought on how the entire party could have boarded the entire thing. No combat. It's over. And no one's thought about it. And I'm like going, hmm... To say it or not, it'll be fine. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, and and Faley's talking about he'll teleport with a few arrows in him. <laughs> one person can cast one spell, and it's all over. And it's not even a damaging spell. Yeah, break curse or whatever. Yeah, yeah. One, one remove curse done no combat and the person may be grateful and willing to give you free stuff not that not that you're trying to tell us what to do or anything otherwise you you're going to try to loot a tower that's going to be completely trapped and going to f you up one way or the other we will see we'll have to see how it goes But you anyway, how, that's been my <laughs> week. Uh, how, how has your week been? So other than the uh, the stabby stabby on the D&D, &D, um, I've been primarily working on two characters, well, three characters on STO. Uh, one of them will be detailed uh, thoroughly next week. Um, the other two, I will have to talk about at a later time. Uh, I'm doing an EPG build, a uh, very unique EPG build. Um, a uh, kinetic or torpedo build. And uh, honestly, I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with the third character yet. Uh, I was just leveling them right now. They're, they're doing a uh, strikes build surgical strikes build. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, so that's, that's been taking a lot of my time, but outside of that, um, I went old school a, a couple different ways. The first way is I, I, bought uh, the PC version of uh, Final Fantasy X and X-2 to, to uh, I don't know, I just felt the need to, to play that game. The storyline in that game, I feel like, is amazing. Definitely one of the better Final Fantasies, and I haven't played it in ages. So bought the digital version on PC and been trucking through that. I'm actually in the last dungeon. Um, and then... <laughs> I bought Quake because why not? It's on sale on Steam, and I bought Quake. Um, not not any of the more recent ones, not any sort of remake, just Quake. Uh, I also discovered that I'm uh, really, really, really out of practice on aiming in that game, particularly aiming explosives. Uh, I went through. <laughs> had a run of, of about a dozen deaths yesterday, all, you know, just to my own explosives before I finally gave up. 
uh, and took a break. And I, I did manage to beat that level today, but yeah. What were you going to say? Were you trying to rocket launch or jump yourself? <laughs> um, not intentionally. <laughs> I, it was it was more I just forgot how big the radius is on that explosion and I was trying to shoot enemies uh, below me or around corners and I would end up blowing myself up one of them one of the enemies was jumping uh, I forget what they're called but it's a jumping enemy and I you know shot a rocket as it was jumping towards me and I died it was it was fun but after after about oh somewhere in the ballpark of 12 it might have been 10 or something but after so many deaths i was just like you know what i need to walk away from this so put it down played sto for the rest of the night and then picked it up today and managed to beat the level so and and for the record it was level four <laughs> so yeah that's that was fun um that's pretty much it for my week. Let, let's go on to this weekend STO and you can take the reins on this one. Oh, righty then. So, so we, we have the, the event of the no win scenario, which uh, let me go ahead and pull this up. Cause then you can look at it while I'm talking. Um, there are two TFOs here that we can do the Kobayashi Maru, which is space and the arena of Sampek, which is ground. Um, you, you need 14 progress, completions to earn your reward you can only do one every 20 hours well you can technically repeat you only get credit once every 20 hours but you you can uh do these repeatedly as many times as you want uh there is for events like this they take off the uh 30 minute uh cooldown uh, so the what you get at the end of this is three featured TFO reward boxes, which can have your choice. Of, well, I should say it, they do have a, a choice of enhanced universal tech upgrade or the specialization point, whichever ones you want most. Um, there is also a universal kit module, which is the Sompec Energy Rebounder. Um, wh when they first worded it, they had it said they 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 worded it. The first time that you had to put down two posts uh, of seeing people that had already bought out and, and claimed it, it puts down both posts when you use it. It makes a in front of you. So if you think like you're running straight forward in a line perpendicular to the line that you're running, you'd be facing it is where it would put the fence up. Um, it will adjust its width based off of any walls um objects that are in the way so it, it it can be used to block a corridor um there are some gravity type devices that you can use to pull people into the beam or if they are stupid enough uh the in enemies um if, if they decide to take the unintelligent path and run right at you then they'll run into the beam and it does an insane amount of damage. So, and, and when I say insane amount, um, I think I was see people were seeing between 3000 and 5,000, which on ground is insane amounts of damage. Isn't that like one or two shotting someone? Yeah. It, it's basically just melting. them. Um, they don't last long at all. Um, so you pop them down on somebody, let it deal its damage, and then it goes away. Well, it, it, it stays there for a little while. It has a certain amount of time that it will stay active. But uh, okay. it, 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 you don't have to worry about p putting the posts up and positioning the two different posts or anything like that. It just is a line that goes directly across in front of you. Uh, before I, I take this next uh, topic here, um, Heathenly, that looks like a, a fairly sizable D20. Uh, nice project. Um, so there was an announcement. This isn't officially part of the game, but it's an interesting thing that has to do with STO. Uh, they're adding certain STO ships into the Star Trek Adventures RPG. Um 
so essentially you can now use official stats on sto ships in in the tabletop role-playing game i find that very fascinating i don't i i've played star trek adventures once and it's been a while um i don't personally own the books but it was it was not you know it was a fun game um so i find this really fascinating uh, just for the record uh these books are not out yet you can pre-order them and they ship at the end of september um it's 45 uh great british british pounds for a physical copy which is about 53 us dollars so if you want to order that if if you play that tabletop game there you go there are collectors editions that the 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 price just goes up from the 45 um uh that there also was a research and development and junior officer weekend um that went from the 16th to monday air quotes there uh 824 um if you you all know today is monday it's not the 24th um so the monday was accurate the 24th was not it, it did end today, unfortunately. So, so if you were hoping to get to the twenty fourth and still be doing, the, the, taking advantage of this, unfortunately, you cannot. Um, the junior officer event and R and D bonuses are, are done. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering about that when I first saw that it said, you know, Monday the twenty fourth. It's like, uh, what? Monday and the 24th don't happen at the same time in this month. Maybe another, Maybe month, another month or another year. Uh, but not so this one. I, I wasn't sure when I made the show notes. I was not sure which one was correct. So I put Monday in quotes and then put 824. Um, I, yeah, that's an interesting oops on the part of Cryptic. Not the first oops that we've got even recently but an interesting oops. Hey, copy and paste for the win. I guess. I guess. Um, so our primary target today is to run the no-win scenarios, the Kobayashi Maru and the Arena of Sompek. Um, Mement has joined us. Hello, Mement. We're Hello. glad you're with us. Do you have a joke for us today? Well, I was going to write my term paper about AI in Star Trek, but it turns out I'm a I'm just a bad data researcher. Maybe you need some you more been... lore. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was a good tag. I like that. If you tell that joke again, you should add that tag onto it. That was good. <laughs> um, we still have room for two people. So is there anybody in chat that would like to join us? Talijah, maybe? Seti? Anybody? Anybody? Going once? Going twice? Sold to oh, Mehmet. <laughs> I'll give it. I'll give it a good ten count here. Um, I don't. I don't see that we talked about it above. Uh, did you mention that these are normally unlimited TFOs for rounds? Uh, yeah. Oh, I did not. Uh, yeah. So during this event, they. Uh, the, they have cut the time or, or rounds down to one of them stops at six. One of them stops at seven. I th thought it was ground went to seven and base went to six. It is. Um, so, but normally they go unlimited. It's meant to be a challenge. See how far you can get. And we've heard people that have done the ground one into the thousands. So oh, wow. Yeah, I was I was talking to a guy on Facebook earlier. He said back in the day, I don't know how long ago, but back in the day, he and he uh, put a group together and they played for 20 hours straight uh no running way. running the arena uh, of Sompak and they got up into the 2000 range before they gave up. And it wasn't that the game beat them, it was they gave up. <laughs> Uh, so well, that was pretty cool. He said he said they did the same thing for the Kobayashi Maru, and they got to like thirteen hundred. I don't believe it. <laughs> I I don't remember the exact numbers. I do remember a long time ago, several years ago, 
um, there was talk about a group that that did some amazingly high number. Um, so maybe this is that group. I, I don't I don't know. I can't make the connection, but I do remember hearing about that. It's the twenty hours without taking a break. Well, I mean, I, I've seen streamers do twenty-four hour streams without taking a break. Uh, other than you know, they're gonna they'll take five minutes to eat a meal or a couple minutes yeah. to to go to the bathroom or something. I don't I see, see why they couldn't do the same thing. Well, you can't pause the thing, can you? No. So, no, but you could always you could always rely like put yourself in a corner and rely on your teammate okay. to to do something. All right. Keep you alive. I'm gonna take this next round out. Uh, I gotta go pump. Hit the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, I found it very interesting. Um. I don't know that we will ever get to that point. The highest I've personally done, uh, in uh, Kobayashi Maru was 57, and I don't remember my highest in Sompak. Not that high. I, I just but, remember uh, hitting a number that my team was like, "Uh, we're done." <laughs> I've never done stuff like that before and it's one of those where for me I know yeah I don't have the patience I don't have the knowledge to min-max myself that much uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and queue us up I'm going to start with the arena of Sompak um, we're not getting any hits in chat so we'll go ahead and, and get started on this and if somebody wants to join us for uh, Maru, that's fine. We might run each of these a couple times just to see if we can get a different uh, group set up or different ships involved. Q-pop. And we're going in. Psalm Peck. A couple of staff wielders. So. The rules are... So. What I, I, I remember on the the Sompak, once you hit a certain point in the difficulty, it doesn't change. It just becomes another point. round another at round. the same difficulty because they 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 hit a, a cap on scale, essentially. And well, I can't and that's remember. how you can... Yeah, I was... Go ahead. Well, that's how the people were getting to insane numbers because eventually it's just a rinse, wash, repeat, you know... If you can handle one, then you can handle anything that comes after it. Yeah. Certainly an interesting challenge here. So. Here we go. Begin with a skirmish against members of the Alliance. My ice grenade. So for uh, anybody that's going to be with us next week as well, this is kind of your preview into uh, the build I'm going to be discussing. This is my Ice Princess. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's been really fun putting this together. It's a, you know, atypical build. Um, I don't know that it's ever going to be like top tier, but it, it's fun to play. We'll go over all the details next week. You can see it in action this week, and then I'll give the details next week. So oh, there are various hazards that happen now throughout the, the Sompak. Um, hey, you, you're closing your big and bad. Um, some of the hazards is lightning, lightning round, which is what one we just had. Um, it will pick one to two people, or I think maybe at higher difficulties, all of us. And then we have to uh, basically run around and not get hit by the beams of light. Well, the bolts of lightning that, that come from the ceiling to try to strike us. Um, you'll have red circles that appear at your feet. Um, there's one that turns the center pool into a whirlpool and sucks everyone to the middle. I think you take damage if you get hit, hit the middle. And then there's these laser fences that that's much like the con the the what we get from the event, which is right here on the wall and goes across. 
Doesn't the floor become electrified at one point as well? The floor can be, yeah, that's, I think, another one of the lightning round, maybe, that... It would seem a bigger challenge than order. So be it! Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. No, thank you, buddy. I, I don't need need hugs. You're big, there, there you go. You can take a nap. That's the round. Yep. And we actually beat this one, so we're just kind of standing around. Um, the the timer, you can't lose these because they're an event. So the, the timer will eventually run down. And um, it'll, it'll pass, you'll win. Even if everybody's dead, these will not fail. Um, the actual ones will, however. I mean, go ahead and leave, guys. I'll re invite. The way those work is if all of your team, all five of you, are, are down at the same time, you are done. You were... If you have one person alive, you can keep going. And, and then once everyone respawns, you can get back in. Oh, it's... it did? Stream seems fine on my end. Uh, I didn't die on mine. What? Uh, we had a, a person in chat, in stream chat, say that the stream died. I'm still seeing it. Um, I mean, it, it has happened before, so I wouldn't be surprised, but it seems to be working just fine on my screen. Maybe. I even reloaded. I seem to be still okay. Okay. Looks good. All right. Um, so that was the uh, arena of Sompek. As a recap, you fight seven rounds of random enemies. Uh, in this case, since it's the event, dying will not cause the match to end. But you still must defeat the enemies to advance to the next round. So you cannot simply AFK these. You do have to advance to the seventh round, and then the timer will start and it will time out. Um, uh, I've heard of some TFOs that you can't AFK and get full credit. Yeah, but this is not one of them. At least not entirely. I mean, as long as you yeah. have one person fighting, the other four could, in theory, AFK, but not recommended. Um, the random hazards will appear. Some lasers, electrified floors, everything we just discussed. And that's Sompak. Now we're going to run Kobayashi Maru. And I've got my three people in party. Anybody else want to join us? Also, the gas can come out of the vents, uh, the floors. Any of the graded floors in there, there can be a bad gas that comes out and uh, takes, you'll take a lot of damage. Kobayashi. Maybe it's like Gorn farts. I don't know. Um, What build are you using for this one? Is this control? Uh, yes, I can go to something else if you want. I am mine is since I'm doing EPG, I also have elements of control, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. thing. Or should I do something else? Say it, say that again, Mem. Should I be squid or something else? Squid. Oh, you mean the space jelly? Space, space jelly is fine. Okay. I got, I have other ships. I can go to another build. Uh, that is totally up to you. I, I do have a lot of uh, anomalies that I use, but only one really pulls things in. So mine is not a control build. It's an EPG build. All right. Um, I, I didn't get pulled in. No, he was just swapping ships. I was swapping ships. Yeah. Oh, I looked, okay. I like, oh, yeah. He's swapping ships. That didn't uh, mess up your queue, did it? Didn't. Okay. I am not in queue unless it's be the TFO. Private. Okay. It is not. It didn't pull you in. None of us are in queue. I, I'm not oh, in it, queue. It did. It. You're switching ships. Did kick us out. All right. Let's try it again. Normally that doesn't. That there we go. That work? Yes. Yep. We we move. Okay. I it showed me in queue and then it didn't. I don't. Maybe maybe I messed it up somehow. I don't well, know. Well. Oh, you're okay. In, that in in the past, switching ships, 
didn't drop Q. Now, that doesn't mean that that's not the case this time. Wow, that shifts, that, that shifts bigger than I... You know, shifted. once you're there without issue. Not in combat, of course. Just waiting for it to pull us in. Oh, yeah, somebody hasn't hit except yet. Someone out there. Yeah, here we go. There we go. And look, so, we even jumped in the same direction, sort of. This one, we, we fight all kinds of random enemies. I mean, this is Welcome a simulation. In this exercise, you must yeah, they got the big old the will be modified by all around. A number. Um, you can go through the thing. It will tell you all the affixes and whatnot uh, if you're looking for them. There are things like artillery, which will put the giant spears that you, you have from some of the missions and... It's not 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 like the Vaudoir artillery. I'm talking a giant red sphere that you have to get out of or, or get annihilated. It's just a ditch. This is the Kobayashi Maru. Okay, here we go. So in this one for the Kobayashi Maru, we will fight six rounds of random enemies. The enemies will target and attempt to destroy the Kobayashi Maru. Um, in the full version of this, Losing the uh, Maru will um, cause the match to end, and if everybody dies, it would cause the match to end. However, because this is an event, that is not the case. And I have nothing to do right now because of the space jelly. <laughs> Heads up! Another wave is coming your way! What's interesting is that I actually heal the space jelly. For me, as space jelly, I actually heal others. Yeah, it's an interesting thing that they did. Or cubes. Oh, I see him. One's gone. Yeah. The that other one's one died. Wow. The Maru is... Get ready I got him. Another way. So... Or Caitlyn has him. That's something else you have to worry about, is the, the four posts on, on the outside will trigger things that will target the Kobayashi Maru as well. Two of them typically will pick uh, like a, a targetable torpedo that you can uh, do, you know, shoot shoot down before it gets to the Kobayashi Maru. And the Kobayashi Maru always complains, uh, we don't have any power, but yet they are still flying around and doing stuff. <laughs> Don't mind me I'm and my, my little pedanticness on that. We have no power. Or something here that always makes me laugh is when they they have that um, unknown speed and, and, and stuff. Because it will actually make the jelly go faster than three kilometers per second. You get it to full impulse in jelly form. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? But you don't get increased turn speed, so... Yeah. But you can also attack the, the, the deployments that the, the little towers on the ends it's put up. Like, yet. so... The next wave is coming. It, it's a way to stop some of the, the targetable warheads. So, like, I... The volatile core breach affix is active. They like will there, respawn, just... though. Yeah, they'll respawn because um, it's part of the challenge. Otherwise, you know. Sometimes they will even spawn turrets beside them to, to also fire. I I would wonder if you had five good you know, set up jellies. Heads up! Another wave is easier. coming your way. Uh, we actually, incoming. maybe not Survive five of them, the but we're actually uh, interested in putting together a group to do just that. Uh, I was in a match earlier today with two jellies that spread themselves out pretty well yeah. um, and covered a good portion of the map with just two of them. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and it worked really well. Even even on the sixth round when you get, like, bammed with enemies, um, we still yeah uh, kept the Maru at 80% or better.
I found that really interesting. Kind of gives me hope that our idea might actually work. Getting into position was a challenge because those ships are really slow. Yeah, like right now, if I wanted to move as a jelly, you know. But once I get there, I'm good. I would say an AOE build will do better in this than than my current setup. The next wave is incoming. Because sure, I'm taking out All everybody right, that I'm targeting, but I'm taking only oh, one I... out at a time. I didn't actually realize that was the uh, last round. <laughs> but yeah, so the four pillars, you can see there's even still some warheads moving here. And we actually, this group actually kept the Maru up as well. And we only had one. Yep. Spread yeah, I would, a couple jellies around and yeah. I would really love to add to a little peanut butter. Two, <laughs> two or three jellies and some peanut butter. <laughs> Gotta make everything stick together. Peanut, peanut butter. Oh, wow. All right. Invites incoming. Um, there are weird uh, uh, things that will happen. Like, you can get the Doomsday device in, in the Space One. Um, my one group found it interesting that the Doomsday device... Like, I, I did a pug, and the Doomsday device got stuck. Um... Because otherwise, it normally runs around the map and sometimes rotates randomly and will just target. Yeah. Someone, get, I think I, it might have been me. I, I, I hit it with a gravity well and it just sat there and did nothing. Um, When I was in with the uh, space jellies earlier today, we, we had that happen. Not that it got stuck, but that the doomsday device spawned. Um, and it was between the the two jellies where their fields of fire were overlapping, and even that wasn't enough to to damage it. So uh, oh, it I didn't mean... shoot either one of the jellies. So that was a good thing because they can't move. So if it had targeted one of them, who knows how that might have ended? But uh, it didn't get damaged either. So you know the uh, what is it? The neutronium hall or whatever. And basically, any enemy that is in game, you can encounter in Kobayashi Maru. Looks like we're doing arena again. So, as a recap for the Kobayashi Maru, you fight six rounds of random space enemies. They will target the Kobayashi Maru and Hurrah. try to destroy it. Satellites will also shoot destructible torpedoes. Uh, the Maru itself will roam around the map, and I need to pay attention to the game. Um, random hazards will also spawn, which can be anomalies or the doomsday device. Um, in this particular case, because it's an event, destruction of the team or the Maru itself will not cause you to fail. You'll just respawn. Uh, the Maru will not respawn. It stays dead. Um, but that does not cause anything else. Like, the enemies will keep spawning, and you'll keep fighting, and all that. If you run this outside of the event, though, that's a different story. Um, and it's worth noting that, just like I said with the arena, you actually must defeat the enemies in each Make round to advance to the next the round. round so now. you can't just AFK through it. At least not everybody can. One person has to do some fighting. Uh-oh, I let myself die. Lightning round. Where you at? Someone get you already? Uh, on the support. Uh, southeast. Uh, you were closer. I tried to respawn. Okay. We shall it should, because that's the thing. Enemies. Ice, 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 baby. I'm sorry, that's not, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have an ice grenade, an ice beam, a Let it go. Let it go. Oh. <laughs> and I haven't even seen that movie. Oh, I have too many times. But then again, I have two daughters, so. Can't say I'm surprised. Retro on the back plus here. side. Yeah, I got him. On the plus side, it's not just princess movies they like, so I actually get to watch things like cars and planes. Prepare yourself. Planes, trains, and all hazard ground. Okay, hazard ground. So, flame jets are shooting up out of the back back there. Um, it puts up a little indicator that warn you it's going to happen soon, and then it's happening oh. now. Here's where the also the whirlpool in the middle. Yeah. We're about to see also the laser beams out of the walls. Yep. And then. Also up above the gas. We needed a higher challenge, apparently. It's it's random. It just randomly picks what the. And we're done. Yeah. Oh, it's also worth noting something we didn't talk about. It is also Please worth noting done. that since this is an event. You have your choice of you any marks the in the game. Despite the odds. Complete with bonus marks. I look forward to watching your next yep. efforts in the arena. Kapla. Let's uh let's do uh the space one more time and then probably go ahead and close out for the day since I have to uh get up super early in the morning. Sounds like a personal problem. I know, right? And to, to cap that off even, I can't even go to back to bed afterwards because I also have a doctor's appointment. Ew. Are we in queue or not? Oh, that's fun. No, I'm queuing this right now. Oh. Wee -oo, wee -oo. If anyone has any questions for for about these events, uh, these two TFOs, feel free to ask. Hopefully, we questions. can answer them. Questions, comments, questions. Concerns. comments. Welcome to the Gamma Hydra training facility. Suggestions. Today, you'll be running through a modified version of a legendary of Starfleet training scenario, the Kobayashi Maru. Oh, and for the record, care everyone. I'm switching ships. You're gonna switch ships right now. Oh, you're in a little ship. You are in a Defiant. Is that the uh, Terran Defiant? Yeah. Uh, I will warn you, switching ships, you can't load your loadout. It wouldn't let me. So I don't have all of my abilities, but it'll be fine. But we have no space jelly now. That means we actually have to work. Right? I don't like work. It's work. The hard part about me playing this is that it gets so fast that it's hard to control. What does? This little ship. It's so small and so fast. But don't go full impulse. It's hard not to because my finger keeps falling too. It's like, oh. Do the next wave have? is incoming. Never mind. No, we do not still have. Apparently. I was just wondering why it wasn't doing anything. Oh, we're, we're fighting Federation. I Darn see those that. treacherous Federation scum. Oh, wait. Speak for yourself. I'm I'm part of the uh, guard. Actually, this is my temporal agent, so 
while she is not a member of Starfleet, she's part of a very similar organization. I, I, I don't know what build I'm running right now, see? The next wave is incoming. And there they go again. Why are things blowing up in the distance? Uh, oh, and now it's Terrans. So we had the Federation and now we have Terrans. That's certainly interesting. I somehow have tiny little itty bitty ships that are on top of me. I don't know where they came from. Because I've never seen them before. Uh, you don't have one of the consoles that gives you a defensive squadron or something to that effect? Not to my knowledge. Are they attacking you or helping? Heads up! Another wave is coming your way. No, it just looks cosmetic. My duplicate uh, anomalies won't spit out. Um... Oh, that was a lot of stuff. They uh, they won't spit out the lightning like the main one does, and I think they should. They used to. Better get out of there. That's a whole bunch of ships blowing up all at once. I wouldn't know anyone that might be dragging them in together. It's not over yet. The next wave right? is coming. I wasn't expecting to get all of them, the though. That was certainly interesting. Fodwar! Artillery! I shouted that out. Oh, I got an accolade. Artillery Annihilator. That's interesting. Probably for killing so many Vaudoir. Yeah, it's just a little weird that it happened on an artiller artillery ship. I can't even talk all of a sudden. No one wanted to see, right? Oh, who, who needs to see? That's a console that does that, isn't it? It's not yes. over yet. The next wave is, is that coming. considered an anomaly? Enemy assault incoming. Yes. Survive the onslaught. Borg, borg, oh. borg, borg, borg. And the Maru is all the way over here by itself. Go away, Borg. Okay, I'll make them go away. Thank I'll you. hide them in an anomaly. <laughs> the Kobayashi Maru's health is at fifty percent. The Kobayashi Maru's health is at twenty percent. And the Maru is dead. The Kobayashi Maru's health is at ten percent. This took some Borg to take him out. Yeah, we we did better with the jelly. I really think three jellies ready for this jelly. would be optimal. Two are okay. Ooh, that hurt. I was a little close to the boom on that one. Get ready for another wave. Here we go. All right, everyone. This simulation. Three jellies. One, you know, control. Yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be a good good match. And you know what's funny with the jellies? We could probably walk away and take a nap. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, next week... Next week we are doing an episode that I am nicknaming Cold Dive uh, for Let my EPG build let it go i yeah we may have to switch it to that just because you know um let it go build. the let it go build do you have a status update for the fleet Grebog? Uh, federation is moving along nicely we, we, we're still working on the colony obviously i mean tier five big 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 experience points but we are now well past the halfway mark um before we were yeah, we're we're moving along quite nicely on the Federation side. So. I mean, we we have less than sixty thousand experience needed for morale, and even 
less than that. Like we're almost to 40, 42,000 experience needed. AK 42 projects. Um, I believe they're only, or, or are these 1200? Or 1000. So 42 projects for one, less than 60 of the other. So we're, we're getting close. Um, I mean, we're still you know what 42 is right. <laughs> answer to everything. The Indeed KDF it. fleet is uh, moving along nicely um, because I, I've taken advantage of shipping off a bunch of my common duty officers to my KDF side. Uh, I started queuing up a bunch of the Starbase projects, and we are looking at Tier 2 Starbase in the near future, and we are closing in on finishing the Dilithium mine. So the, the, the KDF fleet is moving along quite nicely at Yeah. Okay. I think that's everything for today. Mem, thank you for joining us. Awesome. Uh, right, as always, you. see you out there. If it harms no one, do it. Protect the weak from the strong. Live long and prosper, everybody.